everyone. Thank you for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and usually I do some air fryer videos and some other like random product stuff and then um, homeschool and stuff with the kids. And today we are done with homeschooling. It's in the afternoon and me and two other kids need to go somewhere tonight. So I need to do a quick meal before I leave. And this is going to be something like so simple so if only if i guess if you have an instapot so this is what it's going to be tonight it's just going to be an instapot meal and quick easy you won't screw this up it's going to be super super easy for you guys to do it only takes about 20 minutes to cook and it's just one of them things that you can just whip up real quick and serve it with rice or potatoes or anything like that or maybe over some bread so I'm gonna get started here I'm gonna show you guys what I have over here and then I'll just kind of step by step show you what I'm going to be doing so I'm gonna turn you guys around and give you an idea of all the stuff that I have over here and then we'll go from there and then I'll show you like temperature and what you need to set it at um, if you guys have been following along i've been doing some of the air fryer videos is there anything that you guys have been doing that you guys need help with or questions about with your air fryer um i can answer some of that or if you guys have any instapot recipes that you want me to try out for you guys i can do that and then one of the questions i've been kind of thinking about is when we season our food, we kind of usually just go with the same basic stuff all the time. Do you guys have any suggestions on any good seasonings that you guys use on a regular basis or one that you guys kind of just normally pull out and, and use? Um, leave that in the comments below. I'd be interested to find that out too and that might help us um, maybe do some other more creative cooking and stuff with the Instapot and the air fryer. So I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you what I got going on over here. So let's get okay. started. So I got my chicken right here. We're gonna be doing chicken breasts in the air or in the Instapot. I'm so used to saying the air fryer now because I've been doing them videos. So um, we'll be putting some chicken in the Instapot. So this, I'm serious guys, this is really, really easy. So I have just my regular seasoning salt, garlic powder today, salt and pepper over here. And what I'm going to start out with first is by putting some oil in the bottom of my Instapot. So I only put about maybe a tablespoon or two in there. I am going to put it on saute and we're not gonna sit and saute it for the full 30 minutes. We're just gonna brown up the chicken and then um, do the rest of the setting for the air fryer. Oh my God, if I say air fryer one more time. Okay, for the Instapot. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my chicken just right in to the bottom. I know some Instapots come with like a trivet or that little, here, I got it over here. I can show you guys this right there that usually comes in there and I'm not gonna be using that today. So I'm just gonna sit my chicken in there and bring you guys a little closer while I saute. So we're just gonna get things heated up here and then I'll come back and show you guys what's so, going on. I'm going to saute this up, but while I'm going to do that, I'm going to season it with my seasonings. So I'm just going to tap it all. Whoops, I lost you guys for a second. I'm just going to put some salt and pepper all over. There, I turned the light on. I turned the light on for you guys so you can see a little bit better. But I'm gonna finish seasoning my chicken here. Okay, sorry for shaking around. I want you to, to be able to see. So I'm just gonna top it with that, with the seasoning salt. And I'm gonna put some garlic powder on it. Okay, so that should be good. Okay. 
and it is starting to heat up now if you guys can hear that so all we really want to do is do a light browning on both sides and then I'll show you what else you guys need to do Now, depending on how many um, pieces of chicken you want to put in here is going to determine if you're able to uh, saute it. So I have four good sized pieces of chicken in here. And this is okay. Do you see how it all fits inside there? That should be okay. So I just want to kind of just lightly get that browned and you can season the other side if you would like to Let's put a little bit of salt and pepper on there the good thing with the Instapot too is you can fry up hamburger in here too and you don't have to waste another pan and then once your hamburger is all fried up and browned you're able to just Put all the stuff in there that you want to um, cook with. I do have um, some other recipes that I'll be coming out with some of my other videos, you know, during my day, like um, when I'm having to get some meals done with the kids around and supper done, I'll give you guys, I'll show you guys how to like brown the chicken and stuff. So, or brown hamburger, I'm sorry. Let me get that going. Everything is getting nice and hot in here. I'll flip this over and start browning that side and this one also. You just want oh You just want this a light brown like it's like it's doing right now. So this is good. Now while it's browning, I'm going to add two bouillon cubes only because I didn't have the chicken broth. So I'm gonna add in my two cups of water to that. Usually with the Instapot, you need to have water or your chicken broth. So we're just gonna be using water for today. And this is all your flavorings, is whatever you want to put in as a season. You could add, I'm sure, like fresh herbs and different things to this also. I could probably throw in, how about we throw in some parsley, parsley flakes. But you could also cut up some fresh stuff too and throw it in there so that would be fine okay so now what i'm going to do all my seasonings are in there my water is in there we brown the chicken we're gonna go ahead and put the cover on okay so that's usually what happens when you put your cover on it usually makes that sound I'm gonna show you guys back here. When you cook, you want your uh, vent to go on seal. So it'll be on sealing, it says right back here. This should be down. And then this is gonna be your venting later. So we'll come back to that later when we get to that point. But for right now, we're gonna set our um, Instant Pot. So I have it on saute and I don't want it on there anymore. Okay, so I've run pressure cooking and I wanna bring this down to 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm almost at 20 minutes. I'm gonna let it cook for 20 minutes and then we will come back and I will show you how the, chick the chicken um, shreds apart and stuff like that. So Instapot is on and then I will come back and I will show you how to do the release button. Everything is done in the Instapot. Everything is cooked. It shut off. It did not do the release yet. So I just want to show you that quick. If you guys can see right, well, let's see here. 
if you can see right here, this is still up and this needs to go down before um, you can open the lid on here. So I'm gonna do a quick release on it and you'll see kind of what happens with that. Just be very careful with it because it does get pretty hot and steamy. Um, so just be very careful. Maybe use a hot pad or something to do the release. But then we are going to look at the chicken and see how that turns out. So I'm just going to do, show you guys here. So that's what a quick release is. Evelyn's right here, so she gets kind of a little nervous with it. So I'm gonna let that go off and finish, and then we'll come back. All right, so now the button is down right there, so it is safe for you to open up. And then with your Instapot, it has little um, side handles here that you can Put your cover in so you don't need to put it anywhere else and it has one on both sides so you can put it on either side that you would like i'm just going to take the chicken out all right so i'm not sure if you guys can see so it pulls right apart if you guys want to leave it in longer so it's a little bit maybe more tender but this is this is okay so you can just pull it right apart works out fine and i went ahead right away and made my rice some green beans and that's pretty much it guys real easy quick meal to make for your family only took 20 minutes prep time maybe like five minutes just to cut your chicken and get the fat off of it if you do that um, and then the rice was just instant rice I just made that up real quick you can also make rice in your Instapot too so I just I knew I was gonna be using it for the chicken tonight, so that's why I just wanted to make something real quick and easy. So I hope you guys like this video today. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this. Um, I'm not usually gonna do a lot of Instant Pot videos, like separate from my vlog videos, but I'll tie them in here and there. I usually just do my air fryer videos on Friday or every other Friday. But if you guys are requesting more Instapot recipes, then maybe I can kind of sneak them in here and there. Just just quick, uh, quick meal ideas, I guess, for you guys. But tonight it was just the chicken and rice real quick. Um, there might be a recipe too where you could do the rice and chicken together. So I'll figure something out. I'll, I'll look on there and see if I can find some kind of recipe or whatever for that. But this is just real quick and easy, 20 minutes to make up your chicken and quick meal. So other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next one.